What is up runners and welcome to a brand new video on SnowRunner and in this video I will talk about updated mods and how you install mods in SnowRunner on PC. Now I made a previous video quite a while back, practically around the time the game launched and spoke about how you install mods on SnowRunner and recently with the new season's update and the new free update, DLC and free update, they changed quite a bit in terms of how you install mods for SnowRunner, so essentially you don't really need to go to mod.io and do the whole complicated method of installing mods, everything can now be done within the game. Now of course the first thing you want to do is install the game and launch it, and once you get to the main menu you will have continue, new game, trials, co-op, mod browser, load game settings, credits and exit game. Now what you want to look at is mod browser. Now I am doing this live and I only tinkered with it a little bit so there may be some problems at this moment but let's see how it goes. So once you get to mod browser you click on it and once you are essentially logged in you will see this brand new screen. This was not there before the update and this is essentially all of the mods on SnowRunner and here you can easily subscribe and unsubscribe to mods. Now you can use your mouse wheel to scroll to different pages or you can use Q and E to just go back and forth or you can just basically click back and forth. Now an easy way to get the mods in order is if you can sort it here where you can say sorted by subscribed mods only, enabled only, single player, multiplayer and here you can have different changes or you can filter it by name. This is very useful if you have mods installed and you easily want to find a different mod. Now you can also go by subscribers and then you can press escape and you see the most subscribed mod or the least subscribed mod to the most subscribed mod and as you can see here this is probably the most subscribed mod because it goes 93% thumbs up and it has 35,000 subscriptions whereas this one only has 354. Now once you find a mod, let me find a mod that I want to install. For example, I like the, let me see here, where is a nice mod? For example, the Western Monster. Oh no, I already have that mod installed. Let me find a mod that I don't have installed. I have quite a few mods installed. Oh, I'm on subscribed mods only, that's why. So if I disable that, now it's going to show all of the mods in the mod menu. Now you can see 56 pages. It was 6 pages. Now it's 50 six pages. That is quite a lot. So there is quite a significant amount of mods to go through. So you can take your time, go through all of the mods if you want to, or you can just basically say uh, subscribers, you can uh, view it according to subscribers, as I said, or you can filter it however you want to. Popular today, date uploaded, rating. So say I want to go to rating, then I just enable that according to rating. And here you have the least rated mod to the highest rated mod 56 will probably be, yeah, 98%. That is the highest rated mod. Now, say for example, I want to install a mod. I want to install the MTVR MK27. I don't believe I have that mod installed, but it is quite big, 336 megabytes. It's not really going to help much for the demonstration. I want to try and find a small, small mod so I can quickly install it. Hopefully, I will find a small mod that I can that I can, this is more of uh, trailers, this is not really going to help me, but you get the idea of it. So, this one for example, I don't have it installed, no, I do not have it installed. The Tatra Truck Phoenix, it is 51 megabytes, so I can straight here give it a thumbs up, I believe here, sorry, I can give it here, I think I should be able to give it a thumbs up, uh, let me just find it somewhere, I should be able to give it a thumbs up, but if I click subscribe here, then it starts, oh, I must subscribe to it first before I give it a thumbs up or thumbs down. As I said, I'm still playing around with this mod menu, but it is downloaded, and once it is downloaded, it will say download complete. All mods have been downloaded, and I say accept. Now I can give it a thumbs up or thumbs down. Now say I really like this mod, and I can give it a thumbs up, and click there, and it has a thumbs up from me. Now here, even though I have the mod downloaded, it is not enabled in my game yet. I have to enable it by clicking on. It has to have that on button there in the corner or at the bottom here. And once it is on, now only you can use this mod in the game. It is a Tatra 
track Phoenix and it has 5,800 downloads. Now, when I click more, you can have browse mods, enable all, or dis disable all, log out, or if you go to the top, report mod, vote down, vote up, guides, which goes you to external website or select map. Now, if I do select map, then it goes to the proving grounds, summer or winter proving grounds. And once I select one of them, then I automatically go to the proving grounds where I can test out the mods. And that is basically how you install mods in SnowRunner on the PC and how you can test them out. Now, again, like I said, once you go to the mod, you have to first click subscribe and then it'll download the mod depending on the size is might take some time but once the mod is completely downloaded then a menu will pop up stating mod download or download completed and only once you have the mod downloaded then you can enable it in your game and then you can use it in the main campaign as well as the proving grounds as i said download completed all mods have been downloaded except now i really maybe i don't like this mod and i can give it a thumbs down but this looks like a pretty cool mod, so I'm just going to give it a thumbs up. And now I must enable it. Remember, this is very important. I've had a lot of people asking me, telling me that they download the mod, but it's not showing up in their game. That is because you still need to enable it. Not only need, do you need to download it, but you need to enable it as well. So once it's enabled, now only you can use this mod in the game. And you can use any mod you want to. There is 56 pages, so that is quite a lot of mods. You can, as I said, um, arrange it according to any way you want to. So say you want to date add it. That is maybe the best way because then you can see the oldest mod to the newest one. Uh, if you remember, one of my most popular videos on the mods has this squid as well as the cyber truck. So you can basically go, this is the newest mods. This is the oldest mods. So you can go through them as you want to i still have to update all of my mod lists but with the new season coming up new content coming out there's going to be a lot of mod videos and hopefully they have said that there is mods coming to consoles very very soon so keep an eye out for those videos but if you have any questions on installing mods or if you have any troubles then let me know in the comments below and i will try and help you to the best of my abilities but if this video has been helpful then give me a thumbs up as it really supports the channel and i appreciate all the support i get from all of your snow runners but if you like this video then give me a thumbs up if you just like it then give me a thumbs down but please tell me why so i can prove my videos my name is Frank, I'm the Red Side Guy, and frankly, thank you for watching. Catch you guys in the next video.